Hey everyone, Zero Jitty here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of Underland, a puzzle game where you play as two astronauts who have just returned to Earth after a failed attempt to find a planet to colonize, only to find that everyone has moved underground. I've gotten through about half of this game. I think, yeah, I'm at level 16 here uh, out of 30. It hasn't taken that long to get here, and so far none of the puzzles have been difficult to really figure out. It only takes maybe one or two attempts. Uh, the issue starts to arise in these later levels, though, where uh, the controls aren't really up to the task of doing it, be it platforming or aiming a cannon to dig something out where it's kind of up to chance. And if you even miss like one shot, you're restarting the entire level again, which at first doesn't sound that bad, but the sort of movement speed in the game is just slow enough that it does become annoying. But uh, anyways, as you can see here, I got my little astronauts as well as a variety of uh, tools that I can use, uh, which uh, you can see what I can select by the little arrow above them and when it turns green. That is uh, me actually controlling them. And as you can see at the bottom right, I have to get one astronaut to that escape uh, platform on the right there. But anyways, so what it wants me to do is dig down to the cannon and dig up to the little pit and use the cannon to blast out both the platforms that are over here, this guy's over here, and the escape tunnel. The issue with that is if you misdo your first shot, it actually takes all 12 shots from that cannon to perfectly dig it out. Uh, and if you miss that, mess that up, you're doing it over again, which like, you look how slow this moves and having to do this four or five times under duress of something you don't feel fully con in control of does get frustrating. Like seeing this, I was instantly able to figure out what I needed to do. It's just annoying that I can't do it in the way that I want to do it and it not by any fault of my own. Okay. So we're going to bring you over here. As you can see, I have 12 shots in the bottom right there. And then what I need to do is kind of aim it. And there's no like reticle, so I got to kind of eyeball it. I think that might be good. That actually should do it. So now comes another slow part. I need to now guide one of them jumpy jumpies from one platform to the next, which, and if I lose both of them, I have to do all that over again. And of course, I'm going to probably get this first try doing it here, but just imagine that this coupled with having to like cycle through all of these things because it doesn't always go to the one that you think it will. It doesn't go in like a proper cycle. It goes to the one that's next nearest to it. So we're going to do this. And then let's go back to that one and then this one. And if I hit him with this, it'll actually uh, knock him off. What I can do is actually this and just go straight up save a little bit of time but yeah just i've had to do this level a few times mostly because of that cannon and then i got to here once or twice and then just the impatience and patient nature started to uh or the impatient uh ness if that's even a word started to kick in and i uh lost both of my little guys hopefully that hole is actually big enough for me to get through because I've also encountered in other levels where I haven't dug out enough room. I just realized I could be going under and saving precious, precious seconds. Luckily, I only have to do this once. All right, so please fit. Okay, I've done that where it uh, looks like you could fit and you did not, you were not able to fit. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is a, another uh, good example. So what it wants me to do is, as you can see, you see these pipes here? So the, these two uh, things are actually connected to each other. So can I? No, I can't really do that. So yeah, if it's it'll like if number one takes in the fluid, number two will shoot uh, shoot it out. So what I might want to do, I don't know what this is going to actually have me do because I can't really lob it into the air. So what it might actually want me to do is. Hmm. Because I don't think... Unless it wants me to... Because I don't think I can launch it any faster than this, and I can't angle the other one. Oh, well, that's not going to help anyone. Oh, I didn't even 
I didn't even notice this. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice that, so I know exactly what to do. This is actually going to be really easy. There we go. But then again, like, again, the biggest issue is just how slow everything moves. Because at first, it's not that bad because you're still kind of getting used to it. But once you get into these later levels where, like, you're setting all this up and then catastrophe strikes, having to redo them all over again, it's... Ugh. Uh, as for achievements, that game's actually pretty easy. All the achievements are tied to each level, so... Uh, you complete a level, you get, like, I think 20 gamer score or something like that. So if anyone's really interested in that. Oops. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, physics. You can do it. Like I said before, stuff that's kind of out of control is uh, what is most annoying about this game. There was a uh, a uh, sort of puzzle game that I played another time. Come on. Let's see if I can't back up enough and just kind of smack it onto there. Well, maybe, maybe this plan will work. Get him as close as I can. And get this far back as I can. And, well, pretty sure that's not the intended method, but you get the idea what I was trying to do. But yeah, the earlier levels didn't take too long, and they were they were short and easy. It's when it's gotten to this where it's like all of that work or the previous level doing all of that, and then like, well, no, we get to do it all over again. Oh, these are fun. We... Kaboom. All right, cool. Well, I would it's that's weird, but okay. You can only control them one at a time, by the way, as well. back over here so glad that stopped itself go oh uh, so that has happened before in other levels where it's just like nope uh the tnt will just flip itself uh like i said before i should like i totally should be able to get in there and it's just like nope uh i've had it where it's uh one of the levels where you had to like jump the tnt and it's just flipped itself fully and, well, because the physics were funny and I had no control over it, no, you don't, you don't, like that, like, you don't get to finish the level. And that's, that's frustrating. Like, I have absolutely no control over the physics being crazy like that. Other than that, it's been f a fine puzzle game. Actually, we've had a lot of puzzle games as of late. So maybe if I kind of just... There we go. All right, you come back over here. And that should be enough. So you get all the way over here. And then we'll just walk across. Okay, cool. I was in the wall, but whatever. Oh, you got you both got to be over there. Okay, cool. That was weird, but cool again. So I wonder, again, stuck in the wall. That's weird. 
But anyways, I am ZeroJD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone.